Hello, Taurus. I missed you, Taurus. I hope you had a beautiful, relaxing weekend. This is Monica with Pisces Moon Intuitive. Taurus, you want a soulmate reading to check up on the latest energies between you and your soulmate. So that's what we're going to do. First, as usual, we're going to ask what's coming up for you, what you'll be dealing with, facing in your life, and how you're currently doing on your soulmate journey. Second part of this video, we're going to ask about your soulmate, whoever it is you're thinking of, concentrating on while watching this video. Whether you're currently in contact with them or not, first we're going to ask how this person is doing at this time and how they are currently relating to you emotionally, what's on their mind, what they thinking, feeling at this time, especially in relation to you, Taurus. Universe, please step in, show very clear and important messages for the sign of Taurus, for Taurus, highest good, please. Universe, please show us what's coming up for Taurus in their life and how is Taurus currently doing on their soulmate journey? What's coming up for Taurus in their life and how is Taurus currently doing on their soulmate journey? Let's see, Taurus, what's popping? Uh-oh. <clears throat> You're disappointed in your soulmate in that relationship, in that connection. Yeah, you feel it's the end. You feel like you need to move on because they're not taking action. So for them to show up as reversed, king of one shows me that this is how you view them based on their behavior towards you. Telling you things that they're gonna do but not coming through with solid actions. They don't back up their words with actions. You feel that they're not reliable. They're not consistent in your life. Yeah, that you can't depend on them in a relationship. Yeah, you feel so drained. You feel so exhausted, tired. You feel like you deserve a solid relationship. You don't want to go through this. No, you don't want to waste your time on mind games, frivolous behavior. No. <clears throat> yeah, you want to make changes in your life. You want to take action to... Uh, do what's right for you. You don't want to wait, put your life on hold. Yeah, you don't want to babysit a relationship. Let's see subconscious position. Wow. So this person loves you a lot. They just don't make you feel love. They in love with you, but they don't show it. They don't express it because if they did, you wouldn't feel this way, right? You would be with them. You wouldn't be letting them go. So even though they love you, they love you quietly from a distance. They're not really expressing, showing. This is frustrating even for me to see. Universe, please show us what's going on here. What's coming up for Taurus in their life? And how is Taurus currently doing on their soulmate journey? A lot of you are letting go of Virgo, Scorpio, Gemini, hmm, and Aries. Yeah. This is their behavior towards you, in and out of your life, coming and going as they please, not telling you how they feel, not listening to your valid concerns and warning signs, not expressing emotions, not making a solid commitment. You, you're not taking them seriously based on their behavior towards you. Yeah, so their behavior does not match at all their feelings for you, yeah. This is you. You've been very patient with this situation, with this person, with this relationship. You've been very patient, but your patience is running out. You see, you feel drained. You feel unappreciated. You feel disrespected. Uh-oh. You have valid reasons to let them go. You see this? Yeah. So this person truly does love you, but they have a lot of emotional baggage from past relationships that they haven't healed from, released, forgiven. They're holding on to a lot of negative energy from past relationships that have nothing to do with you. You're paying the price for the unhealed emotional wounds that they're not addressing, that need to be addressed as soon as possible. Yeah. Mm -mm -mm. Look at this hot mess over here. What's going on here? Be careful who you trust with your personal information, who you consider your friends to be, because some people around you are... Um, gossiping, spreading lies, like drama. Uh, be careful. Be very picky who you call your friends, who you trust, who you invite over to your residence. Universe, please show us. 
they're going, this person here is going through a lot of internal issues within themselves that they need to address as soon as possible. Yeah, issues that should have been addressed a long time ago. Universe, please show us. Yeah, you felt toxic in this relationship. You felt drained, exhausted. Universe, please show us what's coming up for Taurus and how is Taurus currently doing on their soulmate journey. Yeah, they're paying too much attention to physical, intimate connections, not enough to feelings, emotions, and communication. Yeah, this is not a good thing. No, this person doesn't know how to be consistent in someone's life, how to be reliable, trustworthy, grounded, right? They don't know. They're not trying to hurt you on purpose. No, they're not. But this is what they're used to. They're used to this kind of behavior. It's a pattern for them. You feel heartbroken, you feel betrayed, you feel disrespected, yeah. So you're really restraining yourself not to reach out to them, to tell them off. You really are restraining yourself, yeah. <clears throat> you're holding back because you feel it's going to get you nowhere. It's just going to get your blood pressure up. Um, hmm. Oh my gosh, you've been extremely patient with this person. Too patient, yeah. Be careful because you have some toxic people around you who are gossiping, who are nosy, who are in your business, stirring things up. Be careful. You know who they are because snakes are showing up here. So you know who is who. Your, your intuition is on point. Your intuition tells you who you can and who you cannot trust, who is trustworthy, authentic, genuine, and who is fake in your life. You already know that, yeah. Universe, please show us what's coming up for Taurus and how is Taurus currently doing on their soulmate journey. This person is missing you like crazy. They miss you so much, but you feel alone in this relationship. You don't feel happy in this relationship. No, you don't feel reciprocal. You are manifesting a new soulmate by not clinging to this connection. You're allowing yourself to move on with your life slowly, heal, and manifest a new connection of significance. The star. I love the star card. Yeah. Please don't compare yourself to other people, people who are in relationships. You don't know how many of them are not happy staying together out of financial obligation, family agreements, kids being involved. Never compare yourself to other people and don't put yourself down. Yeah, again, Ten of Swords, this time from smaller tarot deck. So you feel absolutely drained in this relationship. You feel you're going nowhere with this person that loves you. Let's see what's going on with them. Hmm. Universe, please show us what's going on currently with that soulmate of Taurus that Taurus is letting go of at this time that showed up as King of Cups, Reverse King of Wands, and Knight of Wands with the devil energy, which concerns me. Universe, please show us what's going on currently with that soulmate of Taurus that Taurus is letting go of at this time. And how's that soulmate of Taurus towards Taurus at this time, especially emotionally? This one is trying to hide from me. Do you see this? Do you see this? King of Wands reversed again in position one again, and we shuffled. So this person realizes why you're letting them go, why they see a difference in your behavior towards them, whether you told them goodbye or are silent or both. Either way, they got the message and they realize that it's because they're not putting work into this relationship. They don't make you feel loved. They don't make you feel appreciated. All of a sudden now they want to change their behavior. But the question is, will they? Uh, intentions on its own are not going to make things better. They need to follow through with consistent actions that you can trust, right? That you can believe in. Oh, my goodness. So they're looking at everything objectively and they're realizing that you have valid reasons to walk away, to let them go. Yeah. Ooh, you did tell them off. You sure did. You already told them off. You already told them what time it is. You were very honest, blunt, direct. You didn't sugarcoat. They didn't like it, but they respect you for it. Your sword is pointing down, and you're showing up as queen of swords, whether you're male or female. 
which clearly shows me that this person feels you are very guarded towards them emotionally, that you made up your mind and you're done with them, that you don't trust them anymore. Yeah, this person doesn't want to lose you. No, deep down inside, they're yearning for new beginning with you, but they need to earn that new beginning, right? They can't just knock on your door and say, um, Taurus, I want to be back. They need to earn your trust and respect. Trust and respect have to be earned, right? Universe, please show us. Hmm. I will never forget the day when my executive director approached me. She was the boss of my two other bosses. So she was high up in position and she came up to me and I could tell by her facial expression that she was not happy with me. She came up to me and she said to me, Monica, I demand respect for you, from you. And I said, my respect has to be earned. <laughs> and I walked away. Yeah, so respect has to be earned. People can demand that. They have to earn it, right? Universe, please show us. Hmm. What's going on currently with that soulmate of Taurus? And how is that soulmate of Taurus towards Taurus at this time, especially emotionally? Yeah, you see, they're not happy about losing you. So thanks to you, they're realizing how unhappy they are with their life decision making, with the life they manifested. You see this? They're not happy. They realize how empty they feel inside, how much they miss you, how much they want you back. Yeah, you see? Look at this. King of Wands reversed and Queen of Wands right side up. They view you as turning your back on them because they didn't put work into this, because you feel drained, you feel unloved, unappreciated, unreciprocated. They view as very attractive, a strong-willed person, very independent, taking your power back, moving on with your life. They're in love with you. Yeah, they're showing up again as King of Cups, this time holding two cups. They're trying to figure out, do you love them? Do you miss them? Do you despise them? Do you hate them? They want to know how you currently feel towards them emotionally. They think that finding that out in advance before approaching you, before contacting you would help them decide greatly how to approach you correctly because what they fear is rejection from you, judgment from you, because they know you're already not happy with them as it is. This means apologies, peace offerings. But for them to show up like this, on top of your energy, which is a queen, strong, powerful energy, and they showing up on top of your energy as just a knight, shows me that they're not used to um, balanced relationships. They have a history of low vibration relationships with people who didn't respect themselves, who put up with this kind of behavior. You respect yourself too much, love yourself too much to find this kind of behavior acceptable from anybody, not just from them, yeah. Universe, please show us what's going on currently with that soulmate of Taurus that wants to come back to Taurus. They are overwhelmed with their job. They're very unbalanced between their work life and their personal life. They pay too much attention to their business life, not enough to emotional relationships in their private life. Yeah, they're very unbalanced very unbalanced. They have a lot of drama going on at their job or business, overwhelmed with stress, anxiety from work. Yeah. Look how beautiful your energy is. Impress. So they recognize you for who you truly are. Someone of quality, value, with high standards, integrity. They don't want to lose you. Oh boy. The worst card in the whole deck, right on top of their King of Cups energy. This person is absolutely devastated, heartbroken over losing you here. This is very symbolic painting. So they're showing up here crying with their hand over the mouth, which shows me clearly that they don't want to show emotions. They don't want to show how deeply vulnerable they feel, how heartbroken they feel by losing you. This is how they view you as with your back turned towards them, great disappointment on your face, walking away from them. They are absolutely devastated over losing you. This shows me that this person is used to suppressing emotions, not 
showing their emotions, which is not a good sign. Yeah, they suppress their feelings. Yeah, heartbreak and love that they feel. Yeah, you see, they want to approach you correctly. They don't want to mess up. They don't want to say anything out of line. They want to use their sound judgment to approach you correctly. They don't want to be swayed by their emotions that they're feeling. They don't want to look overwhelmed. They don't want to look desperate. Hmm. Universe, please show us. Hmm. What's going on currently with that soulmate of Taurus that wants to come back to Taurus? Oh boy, they have issues from past relationships that they need to address. Unhealed emotional wounds. Yeah, they, they need to address a lot of things from their past relationships. They love you a lot. And they realize they can't disconnect from you emotionally. They're not able to. This person is in love with you. Yeah. Hmm. Uh oh. Seven of Swords, betrayal, lies, deception, shady behavior, secrets, manipulation, deceit. So... This person doesn't know how to be honest with you, but they need to learn that because otherwise they're going to be alone or in a toxic relationship. They need to learn how to communicate effectively, how to be a much better listener, how to reciprocate in relationship, how to express emotions correctly. Yeah. This person is waiting for the right time to decide how to approach you, if to approach you, when to approach you. So they definitely going to find a way to approach you, um, even though they're so scared of your rejection judgment because this person loves you deeply and they're not able to disconnect from you emotionally. Taurus, obviously, we're going to go into your extended reading. We're going to ask about this person, but also new soulmate entering your life that showed up as the star. First, however, we're going to ask about this soulmate's true, genuine, long-term intentions and plans for you. What they planning long-term? Then we're going to ask what they currently hiding from you. Whether purposely or can communicate for whatever reason, but the universe feels you need to be aware of for your highest good. And of course, at the end, we're going to ask advice for you on how to best handle this soulmate connection at this time and anything else you need to know about your life, including new soulmate entering your life. The star energy, new chapters, new beginnings in your life. Also, your health, finances, business, job opportunities, family matters, friendships, whatever it is you need to know, they'll show it at the end of the reading as well. So, Taurus, click on the extended link below this video in the description box below, and I'll see you there. Love you guys.